Meh. Alright, alright. Hey, I just want to start this uh, episode off really quick by saying thank you to the Peters family. They've made me this awesome, awesome uh, cross stitch thingy. Every day I'm shuckling. Every day I'm, I'm shuckling. <laughs> Yay! It's there's a little ice cream uh, mark here, but that, that's that's cool. I accept it the way it is because this is wonderful. This is the best thing ever, ever. Shuckle in, and to the Hills family for getting me this awesome sticker. Um, <laughs> it's a, yeah. Shuckle. Don't you know? Internet meme. Look it up. But yeah. So last month I hit. This wonderful, wonderful benchmark here. 10 million Stardust. So, how did I spend it? I spent it. I went, <laughs> went all the way. And I'll tell you how and why I spent it. Why? Well, how is I pressed a button, which takes a long time. So I'm skipping all of that. I'm just going to the end result. So, and the why. I picked, ooh, okay, yeah, picked that to do. All right, let me record this screen so I can. Boo, boo, doo, boo, boo, doo. Okay, all right, so I picked Grudon because it's perfect and it's the best ground attacker forever, at least till Gen 7. It's future proof, it's good. Uh, it doesn't really have any use in raids right now, but it's it's still. It's always going to be a good ground attacker, even if it has Solar Beam. Next one, picked Kyogre, best wire attacker uh, for a long time. It's good, has 15 attack stat, and it should help you with Golem duos <laughs> if you don't have the prerequisite Gyarados. Lil John, yeah, Mewtwo. This is uh, my 98% Mewtwo. It's a uh, 15, 15, 14. So that went all the way up. This is my Shadow Ball one, and I powered this one up because I want to solo some raids like Gengar, uh, what else? Uh, Mewtwo. Well, I can't solo Mewtwo, but it'll be good for Mewtwo trios and Latios. Uh, I got a Psycho Cut Psychic. This is my 14, 14, 14, 93% Mewtwo. Powered it up because it's Mewtwo. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Mm. And my 100% Tyranitar, love Tyranitar. This is a, uh, got this with Phil and Phil, so it's named Phil and Phil. And Tyranitar is a good, it's the best counter to Mewtwo, unless it has Focus Blast. Mm. And my, what is it, 96% one, uh, it's a 15, 13, 15. Also good for Mewtwo. Uh, it went really well against uh, the Mewtwo, me, Pudi, and Phil did. And Rayquaza, the best counter to Latios right now because a level 25 Rayquaza is more powerful against Latios versus a level 40 Mewtwo with Shadow Claw. Reason being, Psychics res resist Psychic. Mewtwo has a psychic fast move, so everything here just screams, I want to attack the Latios, and it'll be good for next month against Latias. Power up your Rayquaza. So good in the current raid scene. Ah, uh, yeah. Legacy, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, Dragonite. Good for gyms. Also good for Latios. Same thing, Dragon Breath Outrage. I TM'd the... Uh, Outrage, because it had Steel Claw, didn't want that. Wanted Double Dragon, again in the raid team. Pimp C, Dragon Tail Outrage, the best moveset against Latios. This is the moveset you want, not Draco Meter. Draco Meter is passable, but you want that two bar Outrage. It does so much damage against Latios. Ha, <sighs> my perfect Entei. Ooh, it's so good, it's so good. 
Uh, fire doesn't really have a place in the meta right now, but it's good for gym clearing and when the Reggies come out for Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. It's going to be good. So I powered it all the way up. Raikou, when la 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 Lugia was out, I powered this up all the way. And it's just a great general gym attacker. Wild Charge is hitting, you know, that two bar charge move and people usually put water types or whatever flying types in gyms. And if they do, Raikou's going to be right there. Right there. Pew, pew, pew. Another Raikou. I got it to a 32.5. I let Phil and Kids uh, press the power up button. It was a break point for Lugia, Lugia, and just it was it was just great. Heracross, it's my 98, 96% one. It's like 15, 13, 15. Too bad it has only one a one bar move, but it's not a fighting is going to be good for a long time unless they change the gym system. You really want good fighting stuff. It'll be good for the Reggies and. Every Blissey and Chansey that's in gyms right now. Wah. So, and uh, because of the Mac, the Blisseys, and just because of all the normal types in gyms, I maxed three perfect Machamps all the way up. So, yeah, they're going to be good for future legendary raids and anything that's rocky or whatever. Just fighting is a very good type to invest in right now. Do it, do it. And later on, I'm probably gonna, I haven't touched my dust for this one, but I'm gonna get this Dratini up. It's a 98%, 14, 15, 15, the worst 98% it can be, but it's gonna get the treatment, it's gonna get one day when I decide to spend more Stardust. And this Rayquaza as well. And Mew, I have an EX raid coming up uh, next Sunday, so. I gave it Shadow Claw and Dark Pulse, so that took <laughs> nine fast TMs and 12, no, I'm lying, 34 charge TMs. It was ridiculous, but yeah, that's my laundry list. I ended up spending around 3 million Stardust in one shot, giving these Pokemon all the dust they needed. It feels like a different game, you know, playing six months with the same Pokemon and then you just bring these up all the way from something to nothing to something feels good. Uh, because of it, I got to three man a Latios the first day came out, got to three man a Mewtwo with two friends. It's just good times. So highly recommend, you know, spending your Stardust, you gotta, you gotta spend. It's, uh, but you gotta spend on the good stuff. You know, if you're a casual player, you know, whatever. You power up your Venonat if you want to do your little, well.
Yeah, one last thing. One last thing. I got so much Stardust, uh, I don't know, if you have any suggestions on what I should spend it on, let me know. Or what do you like to spend your Stardust on? Like, there's so, we have different play styles all over the world and I'm interested in how you guys play and what you guys want to throw your dust at. So don't be shy, leave a comment. Um, I might, if I find a comment with a really good suggestion of something to power up, I might power it up in my next video. Again, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and comment. Mega Cisco loves you.